So I want to do a quick short video, uh, hopefully quick and short, I'll, it's the least painful as possible about a new setup that I recently did on my Raspberry Pi. Uh, I've got it set up with a multi-boot system on there instead of a single boot operating system that allows me to boot Raspbian, which is a desktop interface operating system, uh, OpenLX slash Kodi, whichever one you want to call it, which is that media center type system uh, for watching movies, TV shows, etc. Um, and RetroPie, which is for doing, uh, mainly used for a lot of the uh, video gaming, using the emulators and the ROMs. Um, in my case, I primarily wanted it for using Super Nintendo games, Mario, original Mario Brothers, Mario Kart. Um, I've got some other video games on there as well, some other game systems. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go through showing you how, how this thing boots up and the different operating systems on it. And uh, just so you can see what it is and if I get enough interest, I'll, I'll do a, uh, a tutorial on how I install those operating systems and where to get the image and whatnot to be able to create this Raspberry Pi. But I mean, all in all, I was very, I'm very pleased with how stable this multi-boot system is working out for me and I've been using it for a while now. Um, so I want to show it off. Uh, first off, I've got, as you can see, I've got my, my mouse which will, and a keyboard which will use a Raspbian. I've got a Super Nintendo 2 controller with a USB on it and I've got my Raspberry Pi. The rest of my wires are already run for the Raspberry Pi so let me go ahead and get this plugged in and uh, we'll power it up and I'll show you each one of the operating systems all off of one SD card. So, first, uh, I'm running off a single HDMI input. Um, I am using a Pi 3 which has internal Wi-Fi. Um, that said, since my uh, router is really close. I found that using a, a direct Ethernet cable landline, I get better performance overall, streaming video, and a lot faster download and upload speeds anytime I'm doing updates or adding stuff over my network. So I chose to uh, go ahead and run the network cable. Um, have my keyboard and mouse dongles on here. So uh, the wireless stuff is all good for use. And I'll plug in my controller. And then from there we'll plug in the power for the Raspberry Pi. There we go. My Raspberry Pi is now booting up. Let me go ahead and turn the TV on. Okay, my I'm on HDMI 1. And there it is. It's already on OpenLIC and booted up before I could even get the TV turned on. So, I mean, it's, it's not sluggish. Um, the other awesome feature that I prefer to use with this system here is I use my iPhone with my Kodi app on it and that connects and it allows me to use my phone as a controller here. Um, as you can see if you come into my video add-ons load up and uh, look at what's most popular right now in Exodus See my uh, what do we want to go with? We'll go ahead and look at uh, here we go. We'll do some uh, Big Bang Theory. All ten seasons. And yes, right now out is the tenth season with airing currently. We go into season ten and go down to the bottom of the list. Past it. Season 10, 13, and you can see the release date, air date on TV, 119. So this is the system staying really well up to date. And with it on the network cable, I tell it to play, and it only takes anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds or so. It loads up all the different sources. Um, once the sources load up, 
choose the top source in HD. And HD on the Big Bang Theory. There it is. There's our Big Bang Theory. So, I'm not going to let that play. I'm not going to make you watch an episode of Big Bang Theory. But as you can see, it's there. And if we go back to show selection, there's just an immense number of shows on here. And right now it's showing that there's five pages loaded with shows just in the most popular category and you can also search for a whole bunch of the other stuff. But anyway, we'll go back to the home page and we'll jump over to the next system. From here, I instead of videos, I'm going to select programs and I'm going to select Raspbian and next. Oops, skipped over it. We'll load up Raspbian. We're done with the phone. Raspbian again is our desktop interface which allows us to use this. We wanted to just do some general web browsing. Um, as you can see it's all loading up and getting ready to go. We wanted to do some general web browsing, use some basic uh, spreadsheet stuff or Word documents, LibreOffice. Um, it works decently well. It's a microcomputer, it's not a high performance computer so it's not going to do any elaborate computing but uh, it's a usable computer interface perfect for this type of situation um, you want something that's on your TV uh, for this go ahead and make sure my mouse is turned on so there's my mouse interface I wanted to look at the web there's a web browser the keyboard's turned on. Hey, and did you look at that? So as you can see, I mean, for a web browsing interface, it's pretty quick, it works quite well. Um, be sure if you get a chance and you like my videos, be quiet. Uh, if you like the video or you want to check out some of my other videos, check up, look up my YouTube page, uh, subscribe, uh, leave me some comments, tell me what you think. Um, in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and move on to the third operating system. I'll off this one SD card. If I come right up here, I can either go back to the Kodi interface or I can go to my RetroPie interface. We'll go ahead and switch over to the Retro Pi. Again, it's got a, a when it switches operating systems, it actually shuts down the one that it's running and then boots the next operating system that you selected to operate go into. And now you can see I've got Retro Pi booting. There's like our Raspberry interface and a it takes a few seconds for it to all load up, but once it gets loaded up, then I'll uh, do a quick tutorial on that, pull up a game, and show you that that works as well. Hey, there we are. So I've got Atari on here right now. Uh, let's see, I've got... And again, I'm using my Super Nintendo USB controller. So I've got a number of Atari games, um, a couple of Game Boy games, some Game Boy Advance games, Game Boy Color games. Uh, right here is where you would select if you wanted to switch back over to your Kodi interface. Uh, we got some Nintendo 64 stuff going on here, which is pretty great because for a computer, little computer this size to be able to run a Nintendo 64 game, it's pretty awesome. Um, you would select this one if you wanted to go back to the Raspbian desktop interface. And we got some Super Nintendo games here. Uh, we'll go ahead and select Super Mario Kart. It's a good, great classic fun game. Doesn't take very long, it loads up the ROM, and here we go, we're playing Super Nintendo now. So, hey, that's, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in my Triple Boot system, um, check out the check below. Um, I'll put a link down below to where I got the disk image from or if you want to see a tutorial for the installation or have any questions about what I've got set up on here or how I did it. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, let me know, and I'll get back to you. Again, thanks for watching.